Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, if you know me, you know that I hate fear. I mean, I really do hate fear in whatever way it's manifested. See, fear traps us. It inhibits us from serving God. It steals our joy and it stops us from being the people that God created us to be. Uh, that's why God tells us repeatedly in Scripture, do not be afraid. Uh, have courage. Don't, don't be intimidated or fearful as a person. In fact, 2 Timothy 1.7 is one of my favorite verses. Uh, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but one of power and love and discipline. So uh, here's the thing. One fear that is common among Christians that I've talked to uh, through the years is the devil. You know, a lot of Christians are like, whoa, the devil's attacking me, and, uh, and, they're, and they're kind of afraid of the idea of Satan and Satan being against them and, and maybe hurting them some way. Uh, I think this fear is irrationally fed by us watching too many uh, horror movies that focus on the power of the demonic. Uh, when I was in seminary, I decided to, to watch The Exorcist to, just to see it for myself, what everybody was talking about. And I realized that that movie glorified the power of Satan and diminished the power of God. It was completely and totally untrue in all of its representations of what God can do and what Satan can do. So uh, here's the thing. I want you to have courage because God wants you to have courage. Satan can't touch you. Listen to this in 1 John chapter 5, verse 18. The apostle writes, We know that everyone who has been born of God does not keep on sinning, but he who was born of God protects him, and the evil one does not touch him. Chapter 4, verse 4, same book. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them, for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Uh, do you know what that means? It means that you have the Holy Spirit in you. If you're a follower of Jesus, God the Holy Spirit inhabits your life. Uh, we already talked about how He seals you for salvation. He guarantees that you're going to heaven. He gives you strength. But here's the thing. The Holy Spirit in you is greater than Satan. Like, it's not even close. The Holy Spirit is God, and, and Satan can't touch Him, and Satan can't hurt you because, well, because the Holy Spirit's in you, and the Holy Spirit's greater than Satan. So the devil can't touch you. Let me tell you what the devil can do. The devil can lie to you. He can deceive you and he can tempt you, convincing you that disobeying God is better than obeying God, which is why it's so important for you to know the truth, which is why we want you to read God's Word and apply God's Word, because if you read and apply God's Word, then God's going to change your life. But when you know the truth, then you know the lies that the, that the devil is selling you. So uh, Satan can't touch you, but he can tempt you, he can lie to you, he can deceive you. And of course, Satan can scare you. I told you I, I hate fear. Satan wants to, to let fear inhabit your life. You know, he's going to try to intimidate you. He's going to try to get you to, uh, you know, not deny your faith, but not live by faith. Because he knows that if he can scare you, then you won't obey Jesus. And then, of course, Satan can influence people to be evil. I mean, there are people out there who are listening to Satan, who are doing his bidding, some who are even possessed of him. I think every mass murder uh, event that uh, has happened since I've been alive is probably attributed to someone who has allowed Satan to possess their life. They're demon-possessed. But here's the thing. He can get other people to do evil things, but Satan himself cannot touch you. He cannot harm you. He cannot possess you because you belong to Jesus. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So I want you to have confidence in this, and I want you to live life boldly and courageously and fearlessly following Jesus and doing what God has called you to do because you've got the power of God living in your life, and the more you surrender to the power of the Holy Spirit, the, the more of a target you'll be for Satan, but the more fearlessly and courageously you'll be able to live your life. So live with courage. You're untouchable today. And you're going to live forever. So don't be afraid. I hope that helps. And I pray that God blesses you. Have a great day.